Lydia, I know I'm not in a store, but I will do that soon. I promise. I just didn't get time to go to the store. I did go to the mall Saturday, but I didn't have my camera because mom wanted to take pictures of um, my dad and Noel doing their little father-daughter dancing. So I couldn't do it Saturday, but I promise I'll do it. I'm so, 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 so sorry. Today is outrageous because today is like second, two, 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 second day in a row we've had gorgeous weather outside. Ridiculous. It's been snowing and rainy and cold for the last four months. Literally, four months of cold. It was ridiculous. But now we have pretty sunshine, see? Well, you can't see sunshine anymore. But it was warm today, and I bet it's still warm outside. And also, I got 93 on my math test. Woo! I'm excited because first A in math. Yeah. Mm hmm. You're jealous. Okay, so today in my computer class. We made business cards. And for my business. I use where I actually work. And I'm going to show you my business card, but I can't show you all of it because it has personal information on it. But, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, showing my business card. It's really pretty. Hold on, let me try to cover everything up. That's all I can show you. <laughs> um, has my name, where I work, and all that stuff. Okay. So that's what my business card looks like and it's really cute. Um I got a hundred on it, so that was cool. Yeah. Um I have a writing test today. I did pretty good on it. At least I think I did. I finished it in like thirty five minutes. We had a definition paper on responsibility. And I kinda laughed because I heard about the eighth or the ninth graders writing prompt and they had to write about ninth grade myth myths to like eighth graders about um about stuff that is not true that people say what happens to freshmen in high school. Like for example, the seniors will take you and hook the flagpole thing to your underwear and float you up to the top of the pole or something stupid like that <laughs> it made me laugh it was actually a lot interesting than responsibility I do so I am kind of jealous but that's okay because I'm done with the writing test and I have another year so that was my last year of writing well that it counts for a state thing so yeah I forgot okay I have to do my challenge and question this week um ironically for my question it's what's your most embarrassing moment um I say it's ironic because I literally just fell going into the kitchen like in my kitchen I have to step up yeah, I had an epic fail stepping up, apparently, and I just pretty much landed on my knee. It hurts really bad right now. Um, I, I would be the one to do that. My mom says I'm the most uncoordinated child she's ever met. I probably don't doubt her. So, most embarrassing moment you could probably ever think of. Whew. Hold on, sorry, we don't have six. We don't have another six either. Six. Five. Five. That is Courtney. Courtney, what is your most embarrassing moment? Tell us. Enjoy. I want to enjoy your failure experience. Okay. So my challenge. This is kind of gross. I think it's kind of funny. Remember when um, Kai made Katie eat like so much like mustard or Dijon mustard or whatever? Mine is similar. Because I couldn't think of anything. Since Tuesday is... Since, yeah, since Tuesday is the second day of the week, I want you to eat two tablespoons of mayonnaise on your 
next video. I'm sorry if you don't like mayonnaise. You're going to have to deal with it because you're going to be eating mayonnaise. So, here we go. That was Katie. I won't make Katie do that. Or Courtney. Cause, yeah, that was Courtney. Courtney had the question, so you're not doing it. We don't have a six. It was Courtney. Four. Oh. Katie, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll enjoy you eating mayonnaise on your next video. Bye, guys.